trust well, you me. You blessed me today. Oh, uh, thank you. You have blessed me so much. <laughs> thank you. Because it's good. this is a reality show called Riding with Willie. <laughs> and I've been interviewing you for the reality show. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's hilarious. May I, may I use you on the show? Absolutely. I can? Yeah. Because this is awesome. <laughs> That's a great haircut. Second best haircut I've seen today. Yes, sir. All right, Alicia, here we are. Hello, are you Alicia? Yes, sir. Did I say that correctly? It's Alicia. Alicia. Yes, okay, sir. Okay, I want to make sure I, I get it right. How are you doing today, Alicia? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you have a nice day? I did. It was good. Nice and quiet. You look like you got a great personality for that kind of work because you got to have a lot of patience to work in retail, don't you? Oh, yes. People get very, you know, I used to work in fast food, so I'm pretty much, it's easy. People so which which me. was uh, the, the, the people? Uh, were they worse at the restaurant or were um, they worse than retail? Are they worse at retail? Worse at the restaurant yeah. because they have no like sympathy for you to mess up. Because if you think about this, like when people come into a fast food restaurant, they're either like on their way to work, coming, going home from work. So, like, if you mess up somebody's food and they get home 20 minutes away, they're stressed already, they are mad as all get out. They don't want to come back. No, they don't want to come back. They just want to yell at you over the phone. So it's kind of hard to like make that better. But with retail, people bring stuff back all the time. So it's not it's not that big of a deal for them to. That's and most of the time, it's not my fault that you can't wear it or you can't fit it or it doesn't fit right. Or there was a malfunction. You like there's not there's not. I didn't really do anything, but so right. I, I definitely Well, think, even if you just were at the counter at a restaurant, you didn't really do anything. Yes but you got all of it. That's a whole team thing going on there. Right. You're just grabbing the food they put up for you and mm -hmm. put it in the back. Yeah. I used to have to tell you people- You go back there and make the hamburger too. I used to have to tell people all the time, I, you saw, you watched me get the bag and hand it to you. I didn't go to the back and make your food. So if you're gonna be upset with somebody, you know, you can be upset, but just, you know, let me fix but it. But I am, you're, you're just the face. Yes. They wanna, Yes. Or when prices increase, they're Face like... Face of the franchise. They're like, Why? Oh, yeah. You went to corporate that morning and decided to jack yeah. out of the... And I'm like, y'all, did, I didn't get a raise because they did an increase. I still make the exact same amount of money. <laughs> well, you got a great personality. Thank you. You seem like, you know, do you ever get stressed? Who's the worst? Who's the worst customer you've ever had in any any dealing with a customer? Um, what, I, what's, what's, the, what's the story that you think about laugh or get... Uh, that was like the worst. Um, probably when I, I worked at Chick Fil A for like five years, so those customers are very much so like, I can't believe you messed up my stuff. So we had this lady come through the drive thru She ordered a kids meal. She pulled off the drive, pulled out the drive thru and parked and came in and was like, her food wasn't fresh. And so we were like, you know, okay, that's fine. And then so you know. We remade it. We got her, gave her the food. She literally threw the bag back at one of my employees and was just like, y'all didn't, y'all just threw this in the fryer. Y'all didn't give me fresh. She went Karen plus. Yes, I was just like, well, now you're not getting anything. And now you can just get out of my store because you don't have to be violent. Like that, and it was like a 15 year old child. That could be child. considered assault. Yes, it's a 15, and, and it's a child, it's a minor. Cause you know, all Chick-fil-A's have minors. So I'm like, the fact that- She you, threw her food at a minor? At a 15 year old girl. I put that lady out of my store so fast, you 
can go. I don't, I'm not giving you no refund. I'm not giving you no food. Get out. You're lucky I, I don't call the police. And that's what I said. And I said, and my name is Alicia. You can call corporate and here's my owner's number. You call whoever you need to call because there's cameras and audio in here and he can pull it at any given time. So if like, I was pissed because Did I'm like- Did you ever hear back uh, from her? She, uh, no, she, no, she left it finally, but I called my, I called my boss and was like, hey, this is what happened. This what time it happened. So if you want to pull the cameras, you can look at it. Cause I was like, she, I, you, you, it's a child. Like I have, I'm a mother too. And so when I have, when I'm working with minors, I get that mother and instinct. And I'm just like, not my baby. Mama Fair took over. Yes. Like, Mama Fair gonna protect the cub. If my, if right. my son is 15 years old and at a job and that his manager allows that to happen and doesn't do anything about it, I'm, oh, I'm raising hell when I get up there and he quit today. Like, I'm not, no, 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 no. Because nobody should feel like they are, nobody should feel like somebody can attack them while they're at work. Especially a, a child and an adult. No, absolutely not. Yeah. I, I, I play about a lot of things, but leave these kids alone. They out here just trying to make some money. That's it and that's all. Well, how y'all like we're here at the ball? I like it. It's actually my first retail job, so like it's cool. It's a little, it's slow right now. We're in a slow season, but people just kind of come in. They it's too many tourists. Like I'm tired of seeing people from Canada. Like there's so many people from everywhere else except for Nashville. And we're always like, you know, we can order it for you. They're like, oh, we don't live here. And I'm like, where are y'all from? And they're like, oh, you know, Idaho. North Dakota, and I'm like, it's the middle of the week. Y'all decided to just bring come to a vacation in Nashville. Like, <laughs> Nashville's a popular tourism is a big industry. In Nashville, uh, apparently, I'm from Alabama, so oh, get an Alabama girl. Yeah, what I don't part? know nothing about uh, Huntsville. Huntsville. Yes, that's just South Nashville. That ain't a, it's not South Nashville. I mean, South, yes, it's that's South Nashville. That ain't, is, that ain't that far away. It is right state line but it's always oh, it's total kidding. different people say yeah they're going to uh, all right people tell me they're going uh to uh like franklin or thompson station uh -huh. i said you're just going to north huntsville <laughs> that's hilarious that's my joke because that's like that's literally what it is and yeah. it's it's so funny because i've been up here probably about like five years and then i go like when i go back home yeah it's trying to be nashville so bad like it's trying it's getting the it's it's putting up the random at the random three hundred thousand dollars or it's probably more than that five hundred thousand dollar houses in the middle of nowhere you'll have condos just kind of sparking up in places i told you it was south nashville it really is like i remember when we when i was there we didn't have brunch places we had aha waffle house denny's now there's like brunch places and all these like oh, it's getting all up, 40 toy yes upscale 40 toy. restaurants i'm like okay let me drink my tea with pinky, with pinky up like pinky's up baby yes pinky's up so that's just it's it's funny to go back there or my because i have a friend that still lives there and she's just like oh we got a dave and busters and i'm like what like i'm i was like i'm so surprised and they got like a top golf now and all these different things so it feels like, growing yeah it's yeah. it's growing very fast oh well, nashville's just man just exploded yeah nashville is what yeah what you call it how long you been here five years i mean and you got kids i yep I have a five-year-old. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. What's his or her name? His name's Mario. Mario? Yes. That's sweet. He is. Um, What's Mario into? Um, Video games. Already? <laughs> yes. His dad is big on video games, so we bought oh, him a okay. Switch. Okay, so he's got a he's got a buddy. Yes, we bought him a Switch when Game he was like buddy. four. So he's oh, been. Yeah, he's, he's mastered that. Yeah, he's like, I'm good to go. He has an iPad. He is a little, he's a little man at this point. Might as well call him a, a teenager. Is he a mama's boy? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, he could. I, there's no. He has no choice. He's my only. Like I don't have nobody else to entertain but you. <laughs> That's the spell. I thought I smelled something. It's rotten kid. <laughs> Spoiled kid. That's what yeah. I'm smelling. That's, That's exactly. Yeah. That's your perfume. Spoiled kid, right? Right. Okay. I. Yeah. He is absolutely rotten, but he is a very good. That's child. another one of my bad dad jokes. <laughs> He's a good child though, and that's and what I love about being a parent is I didn't realize this when my mom, like, cause I used to say my mom spoiled me, but she just kind of rewarded me for being a good child, and that's all it is, is because he goes to school, he does what he's supposed to do, he makes good grades. It's like, 
What more can I really, you're respectful. What more can I really ask of a five-year-old? Well, no, he don't pick up his stuff off the floor. No. You just said it. He's a five-year-old. Yeah, but he's a five-year-old. Like, he, but he does. He'll do it, I bet, if you ask him. Yeah. You know, you got to ask him a couple times because he's silly. He's still, he's still a five-year-old. But at the end of the day, like, he goes, he doesn't embarrass me outside. He told me the only reason that he's so good at school is because it's so he can come home and act bad for me. I said, I'll take it. I will take it. How I said, as long as you don't go act a fool in front of these people where they got to call me every day, I will take it. That's sweet. <laughs> Well, so you're a good, uh, you got customer service skills and mama skills. Yes. You got them both. You're blessed. Yes. So, uh, trust well, you me. blessed me today. Oh, thank you. You have blessed me so much. <laughs> thank you. Because That's good. this is a reality show called Riding with Willie. <laughs> and I've been interviewing you for the reality show. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's hilarious. May I, may I use you on the show? Absolutely. I can? Yeah. Because this was awesome. <laughs> you had such a great personality. You had such a great personality. You got in the car. You started saying, this is going to be a winner. <laughs> yes, I am. All excited. right. Yes. Alicia, ride with Willie. <laughs> All right. It's awesome. Here's the show. Oh, my God. You're actually serious. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Yes. You thought I was kidding? I, I kind of. No. I, I love you. You didn't think I was kidding, did you? <laughs> you see all this gear and the lights on and everything? The, hey, I just, you know, everybody takes can takes care of their car in different right. ways. <laughs> okay, yes, I will do that. Yes, I'm so excited. It's I'm really, excited. That was so cool. <laughs> it's really funny because when I got in and I saw the lights on, I was like, you know, my mom always told me, she used to tell me when I was younger that it was illegal to ride with these lights on. And it, when I found out that she was lying to me, you talking about, I went to her and I was like, you didn't have to lie to me my entire life. Because why? And she was like, what are you talking about, Alicia? And I'm like, why? Why are you go around telling me that I couldn't ride with the lights on and that it was gonna get pulled over by the police? And she was just like, because they're distracting. And I'm like, nope. they're distracting so too. We had, I've had that conversation, and I love that you said that because I'm going to use it, your version of it. Um, you know what is illegal that people don't know? What? Driving with your hazards on. Unless you have an actual emergency, when it's raining outside, people put their hazards on and do this. Yeah. That's illegal. We can see your lights. They're only blinking. We can see them when they're on. You're not supposed to, it is illegal. Look it up. I believe the highway it. patrol, if they don't mind getting wet, will pull you over and write you a ticket for driving with your hazards on. Okay, that's right. crazy because when I first started learning how to drive, they told us, well, my mom, once again, again. I blame you, mom. No, mom. <laughs> you have a, she told me, you, you know. Have to, you have to show your mama this. Right. When she's like pouring, when it's pouring down right now, you put your hazards on so people now can explain to see me, you. Explain to me how... They don't see you anyway. The lights are know. on and off, on and off, on and off. So if you leave them on, they're on, right? If you leave them on, they're just on. She just so on and off, on and off, on and off. Doesn't do anything. You just take, you just take what people tell you when you're 16 years old and be like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 